Okay, so I'm just going to go through the revision history session, section, which I know that everybody wants to know how to use. Because uh, if you're working on a document together with an, uh, someone else or a couple uh, more colleagues, you need to know uh, who edited what also, and you need to see what has been deleted just in case it's accidental. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, view the document that I shared with everyone uh, from the start just now. So this has been edited quite a bit. And uh, there's still people accessing it, right? So it's okay. And also got people, uh, there are people uh, comment also. I'm just going to reply. Okay, so, wow, that's a lot. This is good, actually, because uh, from a half a page document, it has grown into a four-page document. That is good. So I'm going to make changes to it. I want to see who edited what and deleted my content, okay? <laughs> so I'm just going to click on File and click on See Revision History. You can uh, do this on yours also, but I'm just going to show you first and then you can try it out. So, uh, on my screen, if you're in revision history, uh, one of our colleagues here actually uh, uh, identified just now. If you're in revision history mode, you'll notice that you cannot type anything. Why? Because you are in revision history to see what has been edited, but you don't want to edit while you're doing this, just because you're uh, looking for the changes only. That's why you cannot edit. So just in case, while doing uh, the checking, you want to uh, edit, you, you need to close the revision history box first. Then you'll be able to edit. Yes, at the same time, if uh, I'm looking at the revision history, other people is accessing it, uh, the others will actually be able to still edit. Because uh, what I'm doing now is actually I want to check the revision history. So I can't edit yet. I can't edit anything. So what I'll do now is actually I want to see. Um, I'll scroll down. Of course, the latest changes will be up at the top. And the oldest one will be at the bottom. So I'll just want to show the drastic change. Go straight to the um, first version which should be empty. Okay, this is what I type. Okay, this is the first version. I just typed in a little bit of things. And then this is the third version. It has grown more. It changed to black because nobody else edited anything. So let's start. Uh, today, at the start of the session, I shared with Alice. And then I asked her to edit the document. Okay, you, you, uh, you will see the different colors. I know it's a little, it's very, very small. I will open up a magnifier for you to see. So, let's go to the revision history section, which is at the right side. The highlighted one is today, and you'll see the color code, the green and the pink. Uh, the green is mine, and the pink is uh, Alice, who edited my copy of the document. So let's see the document content. This is what I edited at the same time when the document was saved. Uh, Alice was editing uh, and adding easy to use and easy to us. And um, I was editing revision history. So I can actually revert to this. Let me exit. I, I can actually re restore to this version. That means remove all the changes that is uh, now, currently, what you're, uh, what you're seeing, just by clicking the Restore This Revision button. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to see to uh, which point... Let's see another example of a lot of changes being done. 
Not much changes here. Not a lot. Well, you can see that there's a lot of people accessing uh, the document at this time. A lot of people accessing the document at this time. But uh, nobody actually edited much. And um, the green was my change. And the red is actually changed by someone else. So uh, I think you get what I mean by changing, uh, reverting to a version. Let me see. Okay, so you can see that this is removed by the purple. Purple is Winnie. So you know who edited this and removed this. So that's how you see the changes, all right? So I'm just going to restore to this version where not much of the, uh, you know, all the bold text at the bottom. Just click on restore to this version. And then right now, whoever's assessing it, do you see that suddenly the document has changed? The document has changed uh, without all the uh, big letters in the other pages, right? So that's how you revert. That means if you revert to this, right, all the other changes won't uh, just reload. All the other changes won't show anymore uh, until you edit and make uh, newer changes. <coughs> so that's the revision history for you.